Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. By popular request, uh, no, actually scratch that. By popular demand, you guys have demanded that I fully upgrade and fully max out my most hated champion in the game. Say it with me. That's right. It is none other than... Harrier! Dude, don't try to ruin my video, Harrier. Harrier! Harrier, don't you dare. I don't want to see you anymore, man. Harrier! I hate you, dude. He's the worst champion, man. I hate this. I, some, everything about him annoys me. I hate Harrier. Should I build Harrier? <laughs> Just because I hate him so much. Harrier! Harrier! God, man. Harrier. Harrier! Come on, man! Is another freaking Harrier. <laughs> Harrier! If I get one more Harrier, I'm leaving this. I'm leaving. I'm ending the video, man. Harrier! That's right, guys. We've done it. We maxed out Harrier. He's my most hated champion. He's trash. But is he really trash? Have I been underrating this stupid Void Rare all this time? Today is your time to shine, Harrier. Oh, God. I even hate looking at his nasty avatar in my champion screen. Now forever, unless I feed him. Unless I just feed this six-star ascended Void Rare champion. I'm always gonna have to stare at him and his his flowing brown locks of hair in the left hand side of my screen him and his puny little crossbow here the wooden crossbow after all the golden uh, Gilted weapons in this game. He's got this stupid wooden crossbow Okay, enough, enough uh, really dumping here on Harriers. The Harrier roast, ladies and gentlemen. All right, jokes aside, I built him. Uh, A1, a 15% chance of uh, placing an extra hit. Okay, cool. Uh, A2, attacks one enemy two times, has a 50% chance when booked of placing a weak version of decreased defense. Awesome. Uh, A3, attack one enemy, extra 30% chance of inflicting a critical hit. So basically, a four turn cooldown, extra 30% chance of inflicting a critical hit. That's basically the same as Cold Hearts A3, right? Right? It's a four turn cooldown, extra 30% chance of it. But, oh, but there's not a, an insane amount of damage and there's not a full turn meter decrease there. So it's kind of basically, it's kind of like Cold Hearts A3. But wait a second, skillful partner, okay, will ignore 50% of target's defense when this hot, when this champion inflicts a critical hit. Now we're talking here. Hopefully, he's going to be a great. Wait, wait, oh, oh, only available when Hospitaler is on the same. Oh, wait a second. So get to get the most out of Harrier, you're telling me, Plarium, I have to upgrade another crappy rare champion? Yeah, no thank you. No thank you, Plarium. We will test him out with, wait, oh, oh. Oh, I'm a dirty gemmer? Oh, oh, and I did it just for you, God? I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. That's right, I did it, guys. You know me. Hospitaler, welcome to the team. We maxed her out just to see how that passive will work because we want to, you know, listen, I can be accused of being a, a douchebag to Harrier, totally guilty as charged, right? But I want to give him a fair shot. I want to give him a fair shake here to impress me and you guys here on the channel. So Hospitaler, welcome. Attack one enemy on quick slash, uh, attacks all enemies, has 75% chance of removing a random buff from each target on the A2. On the A3, increase speed, an increased crit rate on three turn cooldown, but it's the weak version. Uh, nothing to write home about here, but let's see her merciful partner. You've gotta be merciful to be a partner to Harrier, a life partner to Harrier. No, 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 poor hospitality. Revives a random ally. 25% HP and plays a block damage buff on them for one turn. Whenever a Harrier kills an enemy, on a five turn cooldown, that passive. Woo! Man, is he gonna be killing that many enemies? <laughs> Jeez. All right, uh, speed and all battles by 10% as well. We put her into speed gear, basically. So she's pretty fast and that's about it. Uh, we didn't even build her with too much accuracy either. But anyway, back to the subject at hand here. Harrier, hopefully that was a nice little surprise for you guys to see the full tandem in action, right? We have, uh, we talked about his skills. Masteries, guys, I just went Helm Smasher in Retribution. I just want to have a shot ignoring 100% defense, right? We have Helm Smasher, 25% chance. 50% chance to ignore 25% uh, of defense. 
defense. And then we have the Savage gear on him as well. Ignore another 25% of enemy defense. And then we are ignoring 50% by default with Hospitaler on the team as well. So ideally, we're ignoring all of defense on enemies that he attacks. So let's go ahead and check out the artifacts really quickly. I showed you already Savage crit damage. We went with uh, crit damage on the gauntlets, attack on the chest, speed on the boots. We went with attack on the banner. We went the crit damage and attack on the ring. So we built him, you know, pretty strong nuker here. Single target, 9232 with 165 and 4,000 on the attack. Uh, let's see what this dude can do. Let's see what this dude can do. I want to start off by just throwing him in a random dungeon here. Dragon's Lair. Uh, Dragon 25. Let's put him on a team with his wife, his partner, excuse me, uh, Hospitaler. So we got bad, we got three really good champions and two, uh, we'll see, we'll see. The jury's still out on that. So let's see what he can do here. We have Tomb Lord going in as our debuffer. Stagnite as well to help out in that regard. Here he goes. That Here's his first shot. Has he even taken a turn yet? He must have. Did I miss something? Okay. Is this some kind of sick joke? Upper left-hand corner of your screen. Here he goes. This is his A. Oh, I should say. Let's talk about his multipliers real quick as I am unprepared and pull them immediately up on my phone. Uh, Harrier. He does have hard-hitting A1, and well, all his abilities are decently hard-hitting, right? Uh, because, so I, I'm kind of picturing him as kind of a poor man's uh, Fenax, or Phoenix, however you guys say it. I say Fenax. You guys say Phoenix, some of you guys. Uh, you guys know if I'm good at anything here on the channel, I'm good at butchering names. Harrier, a 3.5 multiplier on his A1. It's really high, especially for a rare champion, so looking for some silver lining here. On his A2, a 2.5 multiplier. That is the ability that he has that uh, has the decreased defense. Uh, but it's a two-time hitter, so 2.5, not too bad. And then the A3, it's a 5.5 multiplier. That's that ability that gives him the extra chance at a critical hit. So that's his A1 hitting for 20k, 20k. Uh, not bad, right? So I'm thinking, listen, Arena with a CC. We're going to try and pairing him with Cornelia as like put everybody to sleep and then he'll kind of pick him off one at a time with his hard hitting single target abilities. Uh, also want to try him as a part of an ally attack team against like the Griffin. Uh, so we'll try him as well. Maybe we'll sneak Hospitaler on that team as well. Not really a spot for Hospitaler on my arena team because I need crowd control in front of him. I need to CC the enemy team because he can only attack one at a time. I need, So I'll need a CC champion. I'll need Harrier. I'll need a speed booster and Arbiter. And then I'll need a debuffer. So like Madame Saras. That's going to be the team that we're going to run. So unfortunately, Hospitaler, if she brought a little bit more to the table in terms of crowd control or... Uh, or crowd control though. Yeah, sleep, rare champion, they could do that, right? Crowd control or, uh, I don't know, speed boost or debuffs, anything on his tandem partner that made sense, that synergized with him, uh, it would be a lot better, but we don't have that. So anyway, guys, you know, I'm not here to show you him attack the dragon. I'm really show you, here to show you how much damage he puts out compared to really OP S tier champions in uh, Tomb Lord and Bad El Kazar, the BEK killer. <laughs> So let's see what he's putting for damage one more time here with the debuffs on the dragon. So 63k, not too bad. Uh, it will be more telling in the arena in terms of what he can really do in terms of sheer damage, single target. So what I'm going to do, that was his A2, 4735k. Not bad, you know. This is Dragon 25 after all. Uh, so I'm going to come, actually, I'll just chill with you guys, whatever. It's going to be, what, a 10 second, 20 second cut? Uh, we'll just wait to see how much damage he does compared to these champions here against the Dragon. Again, 77k isn't that bad. You can see the skillful partner or whatever that ability is called. Uh, the, the passive triggering as well. I don't think he killed it. Well, no one died on my team, so we're not going to get that revival, <laughs> reviver ability from Hospitaler. But even that tandem revival ability, if he kills an enemy, uh, I don't think see even early game players benefiting from that. So he's out damaged by Stagnite, uh, and obviously Tomb Lord and Battle Kazar as well. Uh, Hospitaler did pretty much, well, nothing. You know, increased crit rate, increased speed at least that she's bringing to the table on those buffs. Overall. Not impressed, guys. Not impressed because Stagnite isn't really a DPS damage dealer. He's the debuffer on my team. So, you know, for Dungeon, we're going to give him a fail. We're going to give him even with his tandem, his champion partner there. All right, let's go into the arena before we try him out. And this is the team I was talking about here, guys. Uh, Cornelia in there to CC. 
Uh, we have Arbiter. Let's see how... Oh, yeah. Plenty of accuracy there. 558 and 268. Yeah, that's going to get the job done there. So let's see what this team can do here. Harrier, it's your time to shine, dude. Take auto off. Speed boost in. Canelia comes in, puts everybody to sleep, hopefully. And then we come in, we strip away uh, the... Uh, the shield there, and we go in against Arbiter. Now, let's see. You better build a one-shot Arbiter with all these debuffs. Let's go in with that hard-hitting A3 here, guys. And boom. That's 150k damage. It's pretty dang good, is it not? Pretty dang good. Uh, let's just go. Let's. Just, what does she default to? Okay. She goes in with a turn meter, the A3. Uh, let's... Uh, uh, there's not a lot of buffs going on, so let's just use the A2 here. And let's try to reduce turn meter over here. And then Harrier, you're almost up, man. Don't ruin this. Up, uh, back, what? Did I disappoint you or let you down? Goodbye, my love. Okay, he dies there. Now everybody's frozen. I think we're gonna die. I think we're gonna die. Harrier, not exactly. I mean, it was cool that he killed Arbiter. Are we, do we have a shot here, guys? Do you think we have a shot? Let's see. I've seen crazier things happen. Okay, gonna die again to Rotos. Thing is, he's gonna die a lot because he's very squishy as well. Did I mention he's squishy on top of all his other faults? So we put them to sleep. Let's see if we can get something, some magic here. Cornelia is kind of carrying this team right now. I can't, I can't lie. If we can pull this off, though, I will be pretty impressed. I think we're gonna pull it off. Rotos can't kill everybody. Can Harrier come back from the dead and pull the uh, and land the final blow? I think he's going to, guys. Don't. Okay. I thought Rotos was gonna try to kill him. All right. End it right now with your hard-hitting A2. Boom and boom. There we go. Hey, not too bad. He's an arena beast. Not so much. Let's try this team out for size here, guys. This is kind of a fun team if Harrier wasn't on it. Uh, what about you guys? Be real with me. Are you impressed with Harrier? Are you? 97K. He one-shotted Iron Brago like he was Harrier. <laughs> Iron Brago is no slouch, but to be fair, this team doesn't seem like they're that good because the, oh, I shouldn't say good, but the gear is that good because, uh, what did I notice? Like 140k team power there. <laughs> yeah. So probably the artifacts are a little bit lacking. However, I have to be real with you guys. 150k. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he can pack a punch with his single target, uh, abilities. Let's finish still the Drakes. Still, still, I love you. I love you, baby, sweetie, darling. If this is love. Oh, 100k on the A1? All right, Harrier. All right, bro. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage, especially for a rare. So not too bad, but does he justify building? We hit there uh, on uh, on Murder, Inc. Uh, does he justify building this champion, though? No. <laughs> Who should build Harrier? Nobody. Uh, but, you know, so far in the arena, we'll do one more arena battle really quickly here, guys. But so far, I have to say... You could do worse for a single target damage dealer, but you could also do a lot better. So in single target damage dealers in the arena, not many people are using them. 120k against Siege Hulk. Again, not bad. A very low, a very squishy unit himself in Siege Hulk. Can we finish this off? Can we take down Ninja, Arbiter, and Valkyrie? Probably not here. Let's see. Let's see. Trick and treats, please, uh, Madam Ceres. Please, right now. And then we're going to go against the Griffin. We're going to see what kind of damage he can put out. I won't make you watch the entire battle. I'm going to see what kind of damage Harrier can put out. Uh, whoa, yikes, 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 yikes. All right, let's forget that one even happened, guys. Let's move it along here. So Harrier, you still suck, bro. You still suck. All right, Celestial Griffin, Harrier, Gear Grinder, Kirilla Witch Arm, Tyrell, and Sylva the Drakes. What a team. What a team. All right, guys, I'm going to come back at you guys when we get to the actual uh, Griffin to see how he does. Be right back. All right, guys, here we go against the Griffin. Ally attack. Harrier is not involved. Excluded. Even Creela Witch Arm knows what's up. She's like, yeah, don't, 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 don't bring Harrier in. 83K. That was his A3. It must have been. Uh, nice damage on the A3. That's his A1. We don't have any debuffs on the Griffin right now. Tyrell, don't slack, man. Give Harry a chance to shine, dude. All right, we get decreased attack. Go in with the decreased defense. Harry applied the, the weak version of decreased defense. He's got it on lockdown, man. If that was the strong version of decreased defense, again, 
I would be, I would at least say there's some justification on ally attack teams against bosses for early game players maybe to try him out. But do early game players really run ally attack against Doom Tower bosses? Not really, maybe some, but I don't know, guys. I think the uh, the verdict is in. I think the verdict is in here. I think the hate is justified, but you guys made me do it. I feel dirty. Let me go uh, sanitize my device that I'm recording on. Let me think about feeding, using Harrier for food, and let me go ahead and uh, sleep and cry. Uh, <laughs> cry myself to sleep, I should say, because uh, I did it. I did the dirty move, and I maxed out Harrier, Who's trying to show me who's boss here? Almost the damage carry on this team. Almost. Granted, his competition was Creela and Sill, and he was basically supposed to be the damage dealer. Hey, I'll tell you what. If he had joined in on that ally attack, which he was excluded, he would have been the damage lead. So at least there's that. Let's end this video on a positive note here, guys. And also on a positive note, thank you for watching all the way till the end of the video. I appreciate you guys. And as always, take care, guys.